What is up everybody, this is Omega Bellong here with a review for the DC Designer Series Wonder Woman statue which is actually drawn with uh, from Frank Cho so I'm pretty excited to take a look at this but we're going to take a look at the box first and then we'll go and take a look at the statue right after. So here is the front of the box here you can see the Wonder Woman herself, uh, DC Collectibles, DC, DC Designers, Wonder Woman and of course Frank Cho. Uh, on the side here, I'll we'll switch it to the side here. You can see a little bit closer up to uh, for, for, to the statue there. You can see that uh, it says numbered limited edition. Uh, it is a limited edition of I think I want to say five thousand. So uh, if I remember right, it was mine's is like at two thousand seventy five. I think that was the number. Uh, it's actually on the bottom of the box, so you can take a look at that. And then we also have a look at uh we have two statues that are coming out soon so you got the uh joker from uh, what was it uh the uh, killing joke and then we have superman on the bottom here from neil adams uh which is him breaking out of the kryptonite chains there pretty iconic look to uh to uh, for, for superman i should say uh and then of course in the side here we get a look at uh the statue foley uh, everything there you can see that says uh, measures approximately 12 inches tall uh, which and of course based on uh, the artworks based on Frank Cho and it is sculpted by Jonathan Matthews and then of course when we lo look at this we just see back to the front of the box here so uh, next we're going to take a look at the statue all right, so you can get the statue here for about $120 on Big Bad Toy Store, but it is actually a sold out, so you can't really get it from there. I'm pretty sure you can get it from some other places, but you're going to have to spend maybe about $20 more. Uh, its regular price is like $149, so you're looking at about almost like a $20 difference. If you actually like the statue, eh, you can get it from there. But anyways, the statue is a little bit over 12 inches tall, and also is made out of poly resin. Uh, so pretty cool stuff there. But uh, as per usual, we always start from the bottom of the statue going up. All right, so let's start from the bottom here. We can take a look at the base here. Uh, you can see that the base is a little bit different from the other bases. Uh, actually, it's the same. <laughs> it's a round base, and you see with the Wonder Woman emblem on there. But the difference is, you actually have one foot on the base, and then one foot actually off the base, as you can see from there. Uh, there is no base for that foot, it's just on the table or wherever you put uh, your statues. Uh, that's where her foot is going to be. So I think that's pretty pretty cool to see little things like that. Uh, like I said, the base is pretty simple. I'm going to do a quick spin of this here, going this way. As you can see, yeah, uh, you can see the base is just a simple circular base. Uh, pretty, you know, pretty not cool <laughs> you know I'm, I'm a big fan of looking at uh you know pretty cool bases uh you know that looks like you know it's part of the the statue part of the prop but this is just more of a simpler uh circular base it's actually a pretty thick base it's like an inch and a half maybe uh tall so <laughs> it's a pretty thick uh thick base but uh but yeah so it's pretty cool looking uh pretty decent enough i like the one in emblem on it but uh next up we were going to uh the legs her feet here uh, you see her feet uh pretty pretty simple you know the wonder woman's boots uh gold and red and you see all the parts there uh the coolest part is the fact that she actually has like uh, scuff marks and battle damage on her boots uh they actually are battle damage on her knee pads here too you can see going up uh they have the you know the cool cool dents in them, little scratches. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can see a little bit of you know, a little bit problems here. There's little seams that you can see uh, to to the leg there. I think that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, other than that, it's pretty simple and it's pretty pretty cool. I like I always like the little little you know damage they do to the little things they do to you know the statue. Like you put a little bit of damage in there. And that's pretty cool. And then of course we go up. Uh, going up there, you see a little bit of definition in her legs, her little uh, thighs there. Her not little, they're pretty actually pretty pretty thick. <laughs> but you see all the muscles uh, coming out. You can see that right there, a little bit of muscle that comes out. And that you know, Wonder Woman is a powerful, powerful character. So of course she's going to be a little bit 
beefy. Uh, and then we go up a little bit further up. Uh, and the thing you can see in the front here is her shield. She actually comes with her shield on her, so you can't really take it off or anything like that. Uh, the gold shield with the eagle in the middle there. Uh, you can also see that a little bit of the damage on the shield here. You can see all of just little like sword or claw in there. Probably not claw, but uh, maybe scratch marks. Who knows? Uh, you can see a little bit, uh, you know, the scratch marks going all over the place there. So, of course, she's been in battle. Uh, then we're going to swap it over to the left here. You can see uh, her sword here. Uh, you can see it actually comes off her hand. Uh, so the sword actually comes off right here. And you just plug it into her hand and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then we also have a look at the, the lasso here. The lasso you can see uh, has... Uh, pretty detailed it looks like a rope so that's pretty cool i do like the little you know a uh, little thing on the side there where it clips onto her her belt and it actually clips onto her last one so that's pretty cool a little bit of detail there uh, and then we got her her hands her hands are a little bit in a rough shape i'm not a big fan of the colors uh you know they, they're kind of using like kind of a weird orange color to kind of uh give this a weird look to it so uh, you can see a little bit, maybe that's blood, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> uh, and then we're going we'll to talk about her bracelets here. Uh, bracelets are pretty cool. Uh, you can see it's not as shiny, but like the front of her boots there. I'll be, I think it would have been pretty cool if it was a little bit shinier, like the front of the boots. Uh, you can see on the other side there too, uh, her her straps onto the to her hand there from her shield, and that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, we got the outfit for a one woman. You can see the red, blue, and gold there uh, with the stars on her skirt there. And that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, uh, of course, in the front here, you see a little bit of details on her chest, uh, her uh, costume. It's pretty cool. Uh, I do like the, the skirt here. You can actually see, like, little bumps in it. I think that's pretty badass. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know. I, I like that. <laughs> uh, then, of course, uh, we get some finer details in her back. Here, here's what I love about... Uh, the statue here is actually just little like muscles in the back here. You see that? There's pretty cool. I like. I I personally like. You know, like I said, Mora Woman is pretty buff, so uh, she's a warrior. So she's you know she works out. <laughs> you can see like all the little little like muscle marks here. And that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we got her back there, and that's pretty cool. Pretty pretty badass. And then a little bit of scuff mark, not scuff, but maybe like a scratch on her. You see on the side, a little bit of details there. Uh, then we go up to the face, to the head part. Uh, I'm a big fan of the head. I think it looks pretty close to what the prototype is. Uh, not too far. Uh, her eyes uh, are blue. She got red lipstick on. Pretty simple enough. I do like her hair that kind of flows this way. Like part of her hair. Oh, I'm going to show you guys on this other side here. Uh, part of her hair there flows down this way and then the wind is blowing the other side of her hair out to the left. I think that's pretty cool looking. I think I, I, like, I like that. And then you see all the hair, kind of just hair strings, kind of look like it's flowing out. I think that's pretty cool. And then we got the tiara on the top. Uh, nothing too, too uh, you know, it's a pretty simple tiara. You can see that it has the gold tiara with the red star on top. I like the effect that the, the, the star is pretty big. So it actually takes your eyes upwards a bit. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. So for me, I think the statue is pretty cool. I like the pose. The pose itself. Is pretty cool. Like she's getting ready for battle. She's like somebody's rushing her. I wish she had a little bit more expression on her face, maybe because, like I said, she's looked like she's going to be in fighting. So she's in that stance, but uh, it just looks like she's just looking normally. And I and think that's. I, I wish they would have done something different with her face, uh, giving it more like a more like she's kind of in going into battle, my, like an angry face maybe, um, just more like uh, an alert face pretty much. So and that's pretty cool. I like the pose. The battle pose that she's in. I like the fact that she's off on her base. It just takes up a little bit more space because uh, her foot is actually standing outside, a few inches going outside, uh, like an uh, inch and a half maybe going outside. So it does take up a little bit more space, but uh, the fact that the base is a circular base, that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of circular base because it fits pretty good in, uh, you know, in your collections. Uh, and it's not some weird odd shape. Uh, other than that, Love the love the battle damages on the the boots on the shield, uh, you know a little bit of scratch mark on her arm. I do like the statue. She's a freaking big statue for what she is. She's pretty big. 
I think that's pretty pretty cool. So I like that. Uh, I like the fact that her colors are a little bit more on the mute side. Uh, you know, on her chest wise, uh, you can see like the red on the boots, a little bit more redder, uh, more red. Uh, you can see there, and it's, it shines a little bit more. But like on the bottom of her boots, uh, where her feet are, it's a little bit more of a mute color. Her chest is more of a mute color. So I wish it kind of sticks out a bit more. So other than that, uh, uh, you know, the face. So I gotta talk about the faces, like I said before. I wish her she had like a battle, battle ready face, if, if that makes any sense. But I, I wish it was like that. But anyways, uh, if I was to give it a number, I think I, th I think I pretty much give this a ten out of ten. It's actually a really, really good, really, really well made statue. Like I said, this is poly risen. Uh, it's, it's, it's very uh, fragile, so be careful with it. But other than that, it actually looks pretty cool. And like I said, she's a very big. When I took her out of the box, I was like, wow, she's actually pretty big. So I think that's pretty, pretty cool. But uh, other than that, you know, her face uh, and then the colors, I still think this is a really well-made statue. If you get your hands on it, I would definitely try to get it. But uh, like I said, most of the places have, are sold out or most of the places are charging, you know, the full $149 for it instead of the 100 you know, 20. So uh, look out for it. If you get a chance to buy it, I would definitely get it. It looks fantastic. Hopefully you guys have your luck with that. But uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed my review for the DC uh, Collectibles, uh, DC Designers, uh, Wonder Woman statue from Frank Cho. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This is Omega Belmont. I'll see everybody next time. Peace out.